Hi guys, got a request from Kayla Bell to make a rubber band powered car out of a tissue box and number 64 rubber bands as the power source. Not sure about the rubber bands, I'll have to look that up and check what size that is. And I've just been out into my rubbish bin and found this tissue box, which is a bit damaged, but I'll glue it back together and then I'll use that to make the car. And as I say, I'll have to look up to see what size number 64 rubber bands are. Oh, just for interest, this tissue box is four and a half inches wide, or it's about 11 and a half centimetres, and 23 centimetres long, or nine inches. And just under three inches deep, which is about seven and a half centimetres. Okay, guys, to continue with this car made out of a tissue box, I'm going to reuse the wheels that I made for this project. I'll put a link to the video so you can see how I made the wheels. It's quite involved, but it saves using CDs or DVDs. I'm supposed to be using size 64 rubber bands. Um, I'm pretty sure they were something like 6 millimeters wide. Go with six. Oh, that's feet and inches. That one. Well, these look like they're four millimeters wide. Yeah, four millimeters wide. Uh, probably less than a millimeter thick. about 90 long. So that's about the right size I think. So they'll do. Alright. I need to take them off. That means I've got to soften the hot glue that I've used to stick them to the axle. These drinking straws should match the colour of the tissue box, but before we stick them on I'll have to cut a slot out the back so we can get to the axle. So that should be allow allow for us to hook the ax the rubber band onto the axle. I might even put a little bit of hot hot glue in there just to stop those loose flaps from flapping around. As soon as my hot glue gun's ready. Cut these tubes so they're big enough to stick out a bit to keep the wheels away from the bodywork. I'll be able to 
hot glue those on at the same time. bits from flapping around. I think I've got my camera in the usual position. I think I'm missing some of this. Okay, and then for the front, same again, just put that across there. Cut them off in a minute when they've cooled down. Right, let them cool down. Oh, there we are. Axles through the drinking straws. Wheels back on the axles. What we need to do now is arrange for the rubber band to go through the car and connect to the back axle. And what I'm going to do is cut a hole there for the rubber band to go through and I'll put a small piece of barbecue skewer across just to strengthen it. There we are. Just a piece of barbecue skewer across there, hole in place. Join a couple of rubber bands together. Loop them round that piece of barbecue skewer. Poke them inside. There we go. And then we should be able to reach through there and connect it to the back axle. So we better go and give it a test run. Test run time. Poke the rubber band through. Hook it onto the back axle. Wind it up. Point it in the general direction we want it to go, and let it go. Well, that certainly worked. 
This time I'll chase it and see if we can go through the doorway into the hallway. Well, if it actually hit the door that would have been 9 metres. But I didn't move the carpet out of the way, so it stopped on the carpet. So that's in answer pe to people who ask me if it'll go more than five metres. Summary time, what have we got? We've got a tissue box, cardboard box. Uh, wheels are made from sticky tape rolls. I'll put a link in the video description to the video where I made those wheels, because I've reused them for this video. Axle tubes are drinking straws, the axles are barbecue skewers. We've got an extra little bit of barbecue skewer on the front there to give it a bit of strength to hook the rubber band onto. Rubber band goes through the car, out the hole at the back here, and hooks onto the barbecue skewer axle there, which I've got a little extra bit of barbecue skewer hot glued onto it, sticking straight up so we can hook the rubber band on. Like that. And that's it. Job done.